Michael's death, how she's coping, and the gripping details of that day, a day that changed her family forever. She's part of music royalty, the youngest of the nine Jackson children, one of the most famous musical families in the world. But this summer, America saw Janet Jackson as we've never seen her before, as a grieving sister, a bereaved aunt. I just wanted to say, speak up, sweetheart, speak up. After the memorial, she walled herself in silence. I think it's important for everyone. Mm -hmm. Your little getaway, your little, your little safe haven, your little hole in the wall to reach out. Everybody needs that. Here in this starkly elegant beach house in Malibu, she spoke to us for the first time about loss, love, and what remains. How's your heart? How are you? I'm well. I'm, I, I am. I'm well. <laughs> yes, I am. Her home is filled with memories. This photo was taken at a family gathering the last time she saw her brother. It must be very special. Very. To have that photograph. Mm -hmm. Who were you closest to when you were growing up? Mike. Yeah, we were incredibly close. When was the last time you had seen him? Two days before my birthday. And what was that like? Fun. Fun. We had a, a lot of fun laughing. And he was sitting in front of me and just cracking up, laughing at me. What do you miss most about him? For me, his silliness. His love, how much fun we used to have together. We would pra practically do everything together, from morning to night, every day. It was a hot summer day in June when Michael was preparing for the most grueling concert tour of his career. On the morning of June 25th, Dr. Conrad Murray had just administered a cocktail of sedatives that may have stopped Michael Jackson's heart. Across the country, his sister Janet was beginning a day that at first seemed just like any other. I was at my house in New York. You know, another day, another morning, and I get a call. It was her assistant who told her that Michael had collapsed. And so your brother's been taken to the hospital. It's on CNN right now. Breaking news. Apparently Michael Jackson suffered cardiac arrest that afternoon, Michael Jackson died from an overdose of propofol, a potent anesthetic. Over the years, he had developed a dangerous dependency on drugs, and though his friends and family knew about his addiction, he resisted their attempts to intervene. Was there a time as a family that you thought, we need to do something here? Did you do anything? Of course. That's what you do. Those are the things that you do when you love someone. You can't just let them continue on that way. And we did a few times. We weren't very successful. How did he react to the interventions that you all conducted? How do I say this? I um, understood that it was out of love because of caring. But when it's something like that, people can tend to be in denial. Was Michael in denial? I wish he could answer this question for you and not me. And she did say that she did believe that Michael was in denial. Many were wondering, did the family stage interventions? And she claims mm -hmm. that yes, they had indeed done that. And she talks much more about that tonight. And you were telling me that when she first got that call saying that he had collapsed mm -hmm. on that day like any other day, at first she just didn't believe it. She thought it was just another headline. Which many of us did. We're like, oh, well, you know, they're always saying something about Michael. And so she had that same reaction, thinking like, oh, I'm sure it's nothing. And mm -hmm. then, of course, she tried to call her family. And when they weren't returning her calls, she knew something was up and as she continued to see it. But she was very gracious, very kind in inviting us into her home. And again, as you can see there, she's breathing a lot. She could, get, could ask her anything. She wasn't, you know, nothing was out of bounds. But you could tell that she was still processing the fact that her brother, and she tells things that the phone's going to ring and it's gonna, going to be her brother. But we'll have much more of that. She's working on new music as well, a new video that you'll see mm -hmm. tonight. And you can see the entire interview tonight on In the Spotlight at 10, 9 Central Time here on ABC.
We are.